running out of time. This had better work. Don't worry, Mr. Dale. Dad knows how to fix her. Uh, well, if he doesn't, I mean, we are really... Uh, well, is she coming out? Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> but... But what? <laughs> you both said but! <laughs> oh, uh, but she says you've got to be on standby with Plan B. <sighs> she said you'd know what that meant. Dear God, is it, is it really that bad? Wait, what's Plan B? Oh, does the B stand for but? Plan but. Plan but. Very funny, monkey. <laughs> I know! Everybody loves butt jokes! Oh, Ashley told a good one at camp last week. She said. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, Lisa! Lisa! Oh, so glad you're here. <laughs> glad you could join us. Of course I'm here. I live here. I have husband's permission to live here. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Splendid, uh, splendid. Now, uh, now, let's get you to the microphone. Over here, over here. Just, just follow mm -hmm. me. Uh, Dale, I have a bad feeling about this. This is bad. What uh, was that, husband? Do you disapprove of me doing the show? What? Me? Disapprove? <laughs> Don't be silly. I just, uh, never mind. Well, whatever it is that pleases you, husband, I will do. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you know that's uh, that's a good one, Lisa. Maybe we'll, mm -hmm. maybe we'll use that one in a sketch or a, a song. Now uh, <clears throat> it's about that time. Uh, the show must go on, right? Oh, whatever you say, Mail. <laughs> I mean, Dale. Uh oh, I don't think I've ever seen her this bad. What'd you uh -oh. say to get her out of the bedroom? I told her I built a ski ball set in the backyard, and all the holes had a picture of Clarence Thomas behind them. Oh, good one, good one. Uh, okay, okay, let's get on with it. Ladies, gentlemen, envies, and whoever else is left out there, it's time for the My Friend Lisa Show. Featuring those peerless purveyors of parody, these Suffolk and Good Players. With music by the incomparable Chris Mezzalesta and his bebop Buckeye Band. And here is your host, the, uh, the woman who needs no clever introduction. <laughs> Lisa Graham! Mm, hello, 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 hello. Hey there, everybody. Happy belated Independence Day to all the men out there. <laughs> and a um, not so happy Dependence Day for all the women out there. That's right. Here in Texas especially, our brilliant governor has decided that he's decided... Mm, no. Nope. Nope on a rope. Sorry. Can't do this. Mm, Dale, it is time. Uh, oh, wait. Are, are, you, are you sure? I mean, I'm sure. This is a pretty drastic step. I mean, maybe you should... Should, uh, if the next two words coming out of your mouth were going to be calmed down, I suggest that you carefully reconsider your life choices. Yeah, I think you better listen to her, Mr. Dale. And shh, like right now. Second it. But, but, but plan B? Look, it's the only plan B that's still allowed in Texas, so do it. Do it. <sighs> All right. Uh, hey, uh, Chris, uh, kill the music and cue up. You know what? Yeah, Plan Black. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, on it. Okay, boys, uh, and the one, and the two, and.
In our last episode of Fiesta Resistance, the forces of evil and fascism had been decisively vanquished at the ballot box, and a new White House team promised to build back better, ushering in a new era of cooperation, stability, and progress. But despite his humiliating loss, the defeated orange fart lozenge was still plotting a return to power. And meanwhile, in Galveston... uh, Okay, 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 enough of that. uh, uh, Let's get on with this. Hey, uh, you didn't let me finish my narrator thing. Seriously? You're going to complain about not being allowed to finish? Like you have any right to say anything about that? When the women, uh, the entire female gender, knows everything about not being allowed to finish? Uh... uh, Well, you're behind, uh, buddy. mm Mm-hmm. What else you gotta what say? What does she mean? Smart boy. Finish, finish what, Dada? Uh, hey, uh, Jake, look outside. Ski ball. Oh, boy! Oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 no, no. Huh? It was here a minute ago. Where did it go? Oh, man! Uh, yeah, I tried to tell you, uh, we're in a different instance of the multiverse here. It's a different timeline. Wait, you mean... On this world, there's no skee-ball? Right. But on the bright side, you're the Purple Avenger again. You have your superpowers back. Really? Awesome! Woot, 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 woot! Well, uh, mostly, mostly. Uh, Our insurance company wouldn't authorize flying. What? Oh, that was the best one! What about laser eyes? Can he still have those? Oh, yeah! Uh, yep, uh, we slipped that one past them. <laughs> yes! Cool! Yeah, but remember, Monkey, no laser eyes in the house. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll see you guys later! Oh, and no using them to scare the... <laughs> Cats! Uh, sorry! <laughs> Woohoo! Have fun, Monkey! Yeah. But you uh, do know the biggest reason I invoked Plan B, right? You know. Um, the Supreme Court? No, I can't change that. <laughs> but I can say f- now, right? This, this, this changes everything. Uh, sh- sure. Yeah, you can say. Uh, uh, you Great! Can say... Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck you and your mother and your dog and your cow, Clarence, and. F- you too, you're his horrible, seditious wife with the bad blonde hair, and it's um, a die job, and <laughs> f- all y'all, f- of all y'all. Of course, I hmm? may have to bleep you. I mean, our audience is still under the impression that we're an NPR-friendly show. What? F- that. The world is falling. It's sur- the, the whole thing, the planet, the globe, the house, the country, it's all circling the toilet bowl, my friend. I don't care what... Uh, mm. uh, and... What? You might also attract unwanted attention. Is there such a thing? I mean, who doesn't want attention? Why do we... Ha- we have a Patreon, for God's sakes. Why do you think... My friend Lisa... Yeah, well... Oh! No! Quite a while. Oh, not long enough. <laughs> not at all. I heard that. Oh, man. I I only heard stories about her, but I don't think... Oh, no, uh-huh. you weren't around for the early episodes. <laughs> but yes, it is. That's a ability fairy. Protector of niceness and promoter of polite, respectful conversation. Ta-da! Right. It's only an act. I heard you weren't always so sweet and nice yourself. Yeah, that's pretty much how Lisa described you, but respectfully, why are there little holes in your wings? Holes? What holes? I don't know. Oh, that little I thought he missed me with his laser eyes. Why, I'll just... Hey, lady, you don't scare me. Buddy, let's not. Get back, you. You're very uncivil. Hey, you listen, lady. You just put down that bonking wand and step away slowly, and there will be no trouble. Oh, of course. Anything you say. Oh, look. Is that a supervillain behind you? What? Where? Is that you, Elon Musk? This is over, Lisa. Not by a long shot. Hey, no fear! (sighs) That was a close one. Yeah. Man, 
I'm glad it's Jake with the laser eyes and not, you know, who. Yeah, no kidding. I heard that. You're lucky. Way to go, monkey. Hey, thanks, Mom. Um, but, uh, I do need to mention something. What? Oh, God, what did you do? Oh, for God's sake. I'll get it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Vera, Angus, you two are welcome. Come in. We flew in as soon as we heard the BS signal. Uncle Arnold Bargle! Oh, man, your skirt is so cool! Oh, the Baron is nearly a man! And Lisa, yes. who are you? Well, I'm feeling just a touch, you know, handmaidish these days, you know? Aye, uh, alas, I do. Uh, I wish we still had dear Ruth to turn to. Oh, didn't she mm. have a powerful head on her wee shoulders? Yes, but instead we're stuck with... Amy Coney uh. Bampot! <laughs> Her bums at the window. <laughs> we miss Auntie No No Biscuit. so much. Yeah, we do. But we must soldier on. As soon as I got the signal, I sent out a worldwide alert to all Resistance members. They should start showing up any minute. Oh, that's awesome. And I think, whoa, wait, wait. Did you invite them all here? And uh, how many people did you invite here? Did you message? Well... I don't expect we'll get very many at such short notice. Well, that's good, because we have a big hole in the back Well, of I the... mean, there are hundreds of names on the distribution <sighs> list, but I doubt we'll see more than maybe 40 or 50 tops in the next hour. Whoa! Next hour? Oh, <clears throat> Jay, uh, you, Jake, Walmart. Now, whatever's in the deli section, just buy it. Whatever? Yes, yes, the entire deli section. And uh, stop at the liquor store, too. Oh, but Mom, I want to talk to Uncle Argle Bargle. You can do that later, Jake. Right now, we're on a mission from Mom. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. I have something important to say. Okay. What is it, darling? What? Well, the window was open when I was outside, and I could hear you, Mom. And you got to mm. fill up the swear jar to the tippy top. <laughs> I'm gonna get one that's even f***ing bigger. <laughs> Another quarter! Woohoo! What is Lisa planning? What other comrades from her past will soon be knocking on her door? We'll have the answers to these and other questions later in the program. But first, it's time for more of My Friend Lisa. Wait a second, now I have to write for two shows. Well, how is this helping me? Can we just stick with one at a time? Uh, I don't understand. Afraid not, Lisa. It's, See, it's twice. You don't understand it's, because it's twice as much work. It's in the Suffolk and Good Contract, Section Seventeen. Who reads that? Paragraph D. Oh, Spedger, fine, mommy. fine. <laughs> I gotta I start that. reading things because my agent sucks. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's get one of Jack's sketches in first. All right, I'm exhausted. Yeah. I need a drink. Yeah, you got it. This fall, get ready for TV's next great drama. Step inside the offices of DC's premier crisis managers. And politicians' dirty laundry means their job is a never-ending spin cycle. Oh, no. Talk to me. What's up? Boss, the congresswoman just tweeted that school shootings are staged to get sympathy for LGBTQ dolphins. Uh, uh, all right, people, people, this is not a drill. We need to draft an apology ASAP. Uh, Mark, tell me what kind of initial response we're seeing online. On it. Uh, it looks, uh, it looks like it's fine. Fine? Yeah, two senators just retweeted her and, uh, Joe Rogan called her a hero. Oh. Oh, and hashtag FU Flipper is already trending. So, no negative fallout? Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. You'll go behind the scenes as this team of Spin Meisters tries to stay a step ahead of the news and keep the real stories out of the headlines. How bad is it? It's bad. 
The senator was caught soliciting a 14-year-old girl. Yeah, they got him on mall security camera trying to use his Senate ID to get a discount on earrings from Claire's. <sighs> it's going to be one of those days. Uh, let's get the girl's parents on the phone, and uh, maybe we can spin this as well, a little well, bit of... Actually, boss, uh, it looks like we're all good. What? Yeah. I mean, he tweeted, girls just want to have fun, am I right? And I got 200,000 likes. And the governor just asked him to officiate his daughter's wedding this weekend. It's a team of young spin doctors making their way in our nation's capital, all under the watchful eye of the veteran PR man who's seen it all before. Boss, it's bad. Tell me. The congresswoman was giving a speech, and she said the worst thing about slavery is that the slaves were too expensive. <sighs> Guess it's time to start working on my third ulcer. Oh, wait, never mind. Looks like her opponent just dropped out, and she'll be running unopposed again. So I guess we're good. What? Yeah. I, I, hey, look, Howard Dean screamed once, and he was done. But there are some scandals even these wizards can't make disappear. Boss, you're going to want to sit down. What now? Huffington Post is reporting that in college, the congressman shared a room with another man. <gasps> All, right. All right, put the coffee on. It's going to be a long night. Wait, wait, do they mean his roommate? Critics say it's depressingly realistic. And it made me think of the West Wing, and how much I miss the West Wing. Thursdays this fall, it's Spin Cycle. Politico just tweeted they also shared a shower. This is why we get paid the big bucks, people. Because there's no such thing as bad publicity. Dude, I don't know. All politicians are the same. Look, it's like Neil wrote and Getty sang. If you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. Whoa, that's heavy. Yeah. So, uh, like, who do I choose? Blue, no matter who. Not paid for by the Suffolk and Good Satirical Action Committee, begging you to vote for the party that isn't trying to kill us. Lemonade. Lemonade. Hey, lemonade lemonade here for, for sale. sale. Come get it. Well. Hello, what have we here? We're selling lemonade and cookies. How cute your stand is. Wow, and I see you have everything you need here. Uh, you got the drinks, you got the snacks, and is that a solar generator? Yep, for our fans and charging our cell phones. Yeah, but hold on, you, you've got a big umbrella. I mean, surely you could just stay cool under that without all this tech and stuff. My mom says I'm extra sensitive to the heat. If I sweat, it might block my pores. Huh. Well, I'll I'll take a lemonade then. I wouldn't want your pores in any trouble. That's one dollar. Thanks. Here you go. Tell your friends. Hashtag Lemonade Palace on your soul stools. Lemonade! lemonade. Come lemonade get for your sale. lemonade! Wow, this is quite the setup. Been busy? We've got 250% ROI so far. ROI? Do you even know what that is? Duh. It's our return on investment, and we're kicking butt today. Right. Well, count me in for a lemonade and a cookie, please. Coming right up. Care for an artisanal lemon wedge and sugar rim? Sure. Sounds fancy. That'll be $5. And you've mastered the upsell, I see. Excellent work. Don't mistake our youth for immaturity. We are captains of our destiny. That is so good to hear. Well... <laughs> Don't consume all your profits, kids. <laughs> no worries. We're gluten intolerant and don't eat sugar. Bad for your skin. Okay. Cheers for me. Try to have fun anyway, kids. Life is short. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Uh, can I have a lemonade, please? You have money? Well, just my mom's credit card. No prob. We got a reader. Want the premium version? It's only $10. Sure, whatever. And two cookies. Oh my gosh, and did you see the Vinca? It's like God's rainbow. It's so beautiful. Doris. Wait, who said that? Me. God. God is in the garden section of Home Depot? I'm everywhere, Doris. And I'm pissed. Oh! Oh! 
Did I do something wrong, God? Yes, you voted for the wrong political party. Twelve times. Wait, I thought you didn't do politics, God. I don't, but I've had enough. You like these plants, Doris, do you? You know what's going to happen to these plants if you don't get your sh** together? They are going to fry, Doris, <gasps> all of them. The cacti, the daisy, even the vinci, Doris. No. And it will all be your fault. Wait, my fault? Stop moaning like a moron, Doris. The planet's on fire. You people have totally misread my book, and I am tired. So tired. So if I vote blue, will my houseplants live? Eh, probably. But if you don't, I'll smite every last one of them. And that's a promise. Not paid for by the Suffolk and Good Satirical Action Committee. Stop voting like a moron so Doris's houseplants can live. Summer is here, and I bet you're ready for a trip to the beach. I wish. Uh, work has been so crazy, I, I can't get away from the office. Bet you wish the beach could come to you, huh? Yeah, <laughs> that would be nice. Well, your wish came true with Sand Trap, the box that brings a beach vacation right to your door. Wow, that was fast. Each Sand Trap box comes with a stylish pair of shades, perfect for your at-home beach vacation. Wow, oh, these look nice. Uh, wait, these aren't sunglasses. You just colored in regular glasses with a Sharpie. Next, rub on some of our Sand Trap lotion. Okay, I'll... Uh, ow! Hey, this stuff burns! What, what kind of sunscreen is this? Lie for that authentic sunburn feeling. I don't think I want any more of this. But wait, there's more! Uh -huh. The sounds of the surf come right into your living room with your very own live seagull. Ah! 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 Get away from me! Ah! 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 Your box also contains three half-empty bags of chips. Catnip for this scruffy scavenger. Ah! Uh, honey? Open the window and uh, get a blanket. What's going on in there? There's a seagull in the house. Oh! What? Why? Because I said I wanted to go to the beach. But we're not done yet. Each box also has a one pound bag of sand, so you'll be finding grains of beachfront bliss in your shoes, pockets, and hair for months to come. It's everywhere. How is it already everywhere? After your sand trap at home adventure, you may need a vacation from your vacation. <laughs> but we can't help with that. You you haven't helped me at all. Sand trap, also available in the new family edition, including six soggy swim diapers. Ah! Man, what a day. You're telling me. Did you just say something? Yes, I did. And it's about time you listen. This is weird. I mean, I know that I think with you a lot, but you've never said anything before. Oh, I did. You just didn't hear me. Right, right. That makes sense. Anyway, now that I have your full attention, I do have your full attention, right? Stop thinking about boobs. Uh, sorry, have it. Habit, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm paying attention. Good. We need to talk politics. Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, AOC is hot. Not like that. You really are disgusting, you know that? Ha! Ah, listen, if you ever want me to get out and make some new friends, you are gonna have to clean up your act. Clean up? I'm in the shower. What more do you want? I want you to stop voting for low taxes and sticking it to poor people. But I like sticking it to poor people. Well, I like sticking it somewhere else better. And those jackasses you keep voting for have pissed off all the places I like to go. You gotta stop voting for these people. But low taxes. Listen, you're willing to use me to think about everything else. You gotta trust me on this one. If I ever let you down... I told you never to mention that again. Sorry, man. Happens to all of us. So, if I vote blue, 
Will you stop talking about it? Yes! Not paid for by the Suffolk and Good Satirical Action Committee. Vote blue if you ever want Jimmy to get laid again. Seriously, we're pissed. Oh, by a six to three majority. Oh, uh, the low, low turnout at the midterms. And then Speaker Taylor Green announced. No, 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 that can't be right. Good morning. <laughs> What? what? Who are you? And what are you doing in my room? Oh, it's not your room, silly. Just like it's not your body anymore. What the hell? Few things have uh, happened while you were sleeping. What kind of things? Oh, don't worry. We'll get you up to date the Jiffy. Hit it, boys. For far too long, we let you think you were strong and free to work and pick and choose and plan. Yeah, wasn't that fun? You could vote or even run for office just as if you were a man. Why, I even heard a woman try to run for president once. <laughs> can you imagine? Of course I can. What do you mean? Oh, you're adorable. You never followed the news, and while you took the snooze, we took away your so-called right to choose. We're the majority. We're winning six to three, so get used to doing nothing but lose. That's when we took control, boy, we were on a roll, and the rest of your rights, see you later. When you finally awoke, you found out it's not a joke. Well, congrats, you are now an incubator. So we're thrilled to announce a brand new day is finally dawned. Your opinion doesn't count. <laughs> but don't worry, dear, no need to live in fear As long as you keep following our rules I'm just barely coping And I hope the Lord will open A mighty can of whoop ass on these fools And so desperately, I implore you every day Dear God, who's hear my plea Make this nightmare go away Say no to Gilead This misogynistic dream It makes me wanna scream all day Listen, no, sweetheart, it can't be what you should do is just calm be. down, it's, calm it's down, it's and don't it's you worry your pretty little head about this. Be. I mean, listen. It's just, no, 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 no. <gasps> Holy crap. I've been asleep too long. It's time to wake some people up. All right, everyone. I just wanted to thank you for coming out tonight to hear our fabulous guest read from his latest book. Everyone here at the City Bookstore is delighted to welcome author Mr. Grant Ruffage, reading from Remembered Ramblings, a memoir. Thank you. <laughs> thank you and your wonderful crew here at City Books. I wanted to preface my reading by admitting that this memoir was a long time in the works, and I'm, I'm feeling a bit vulnerable, sharing some deep and, and very personal thoughts. But you seem like a friendly crowd, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. We don't buy okay. All right. Let me, let me start at the beginning, then. <clears throat> Wednesday, June 7th, 1972. Winky had an accident near the fridge, and Mom made me clean it up. Grossness. Some cool start to my summer, right? Well, I'm not going to let it get me down. Tucker and I are going to see The Godfather again on Saturday. When I grow up, I want to make movies like that. Or act in them. Or maybe just work with horses. <laughs> oh, the history here. Entrancing. 
Mm. Oh, oh, here. Here, it gets really interesting. Mm -hmm. well, so. Had a crazy dream last night. It was my house, but not my house. It was my family, but not my family. This monster came, chased me up the stairs, and my mom yelled at me to knock off the racket and let her sleep. I couldn't speak, and yet summoned the courage to turn around and whisper to the monster, let's go get some ice cream. So we did, but then the refrigerator turned into a washing machine, and we were spinning and drowning, and then I woke up. My sheets were wrapped around me. Uh, and this, this wonderful memory, I wish Winky was a fighting dog. I mean, poodles just don't seem like they'd attack a burglar. When Tucker brought Barney over, they only sniffed each other's butts. <laughs> oh, oh, this is priceless. Um, you know, if I could break in here, Mr. Rutledge, uh, this memoir, well, uh, diary, while um, riveting and all, well, um, I'm wondering if there's not a passage with something that might draw these stories into a, a cohesive narrative. Oh, oh, cohesive. Cohesive! Yes. Sure. I see. Like how authors get hefty advances to regurgitate tired characters in ridiculous situations, or, 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 or memoirs that are completely made up? I can verify that this is taken directly from my own journals from age 8 to 15. That delicate age when boy <sighs> turns to man. You cannot break that into cohesive units so easily. Just ask my editor. My book encapsulates all 750 pages of drama and real-world grit. Why, I dare say, it's a new male-centered and Frank. <gasps> you cannot be serious. I believe you said you grew up in, um... Cleveland? Cleveland. And let me tell you, it could get really hot there in the summer. There's a whole chapter where I had heat stroke and vomited on the camp bus. Uh, let me see, where is that? Uh, I'm gonna find that in well, here. Well, while a, you find yes. that, I'm going to invite the patrons, uh, especially you, heading out the front door, to consider uh, joining us at our snack table in the back. Please, uh, please come back. Um, We've got cupcakes, coffee, uh, um, oh, it's well, free. Uh, that's all right. Now, let me let me continue then. It wasn't long after we started up the twisted mountain road that I realized that my biggest mistake was mixing OJ and cinnamon rolls and mint toothpaste. The exhaust from the bus and my motion sickness took a horrendous <laughs> and frankly colorful turn as I felt more and more nauseous. At the I sprayed all over the back seat of the bus. I'll get it. So I says to him, I says, you may well have been America's mayor back in the day. <laughs> but right now you couldn't even be elected dog catcher in Newark. <laughs> <laughs> and what did he say? Oh, you know, Rudy. He just threw up on my shoes. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you guys gonna come in? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's hard to wind down once you get me going on a story. Which reminds me, Benny. Lydia! What? He doesn't want to hear your life story, for God's snake, woman. Well, I do apologize. Do you all have any coffee? Dr. Carson won't drink tea anymore. I don't know why. There's a very good reason. Hush, it made you sleepy. Uh, yeah, we can handle that. Lisa, put some coffee on. There's some cold cuts and crudite in the kitchen. <clears> hmm, <throat> looks like they aren't the last to arrive. Wait, is that? Oh, <laughs> 
It is you. I'd recognize that vacant grin anywhere. What honey, the hell are honey, you- Honey, who's- Oh. Ooh is that the feisty little filly I came to see? Great Perry. Jesus. Ooh, you shouldn't be here. That's right. You heard her, partner. Vamoose. Now hold on just a doggone minute here. Let me get my specs on so as I can make sure it's really... You! Indubitably you, Lisa. Be still, my heart. Ah. Oh. My, my thoughts exactly. Uh, um, well, and what I meant was... Rick, you shouldn't have come all of this way. But now that you're here, make yourself at home, stranger. Uh, honey... Are you sure about this? Yes. Of course she is, you uncultured swine. Now do wipe the drool off your chin and fetch me um, a tequila sunrise. What? I don't know what's going on. Make sure to hand squeeze the orange juice and go easy on the grenadine, but not on? on the Patron. Oh, I'll be sure to do some hand squeezing all right. Honey, honey... We've got important things to discuss, so... But... Be good. And bring out the good tequila. Ah, his hair is still perfect. How does he do that? Uh, this isn't over, Governor. Mommy? Mommy, where are you going? Bathroom. Monkey, go into the bathroom. Okay. Don't stay in there forever again. Sir, I look forward to our little tete-a-tete -tete with a level of anticipation I normally reserve for a root canal. Weirdo. Oh, Loathsome, uncouth bumpkin. People? People? People, listen up. People? Listen up. We are gathered here due to a grave national crisis. We must band together once again to confront and defeat it. Now, Lisa, um, Lisa, where is she? Dang. What? Oh, I see. Uh huh. Comrade Perry must have arrived. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, Lisa, what's the plan? The plan? I was supposed to have a plan? Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. Then, my plan is as follows. Incandescent rage. God snake! God snake, I say! Yes! Praise the Lord! Yeah. Rage! Yeah. Um. All right. Could you just expand a little on that, dear? Sure. Incandescent. Rage! Okay. Mmm! Ugh! Works for me! Thank you, Angus! Yay, Uncle Agobar! Let's drink! Whiskey all around! Where's me bagpipes? For my mom. Remember, lady, I've got laser eyes. And they're on you. And a pair of six guns. Sivvy, babe, slow your roll. Your fury is exactly the energy we need well, right I'll now. Show... Wait, wait, it is? Yes. Oh, indeed. We could put all that emotion to a good cause. The most important cause there is. Saving the country. Oh, oh my, that does sound important. All right, I'm in. I just have one question. Yes? Where's that f***ing tequila, bitch? Oh, my. Swear jar! Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! Come on, Sibby. Yeah! 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 
Join us again for more productive anger management, as well as a pleasing variety of mixed drinks, in the next exciting episode of BS... Uh, wait, uh, which show is this? Who am us, anyway? Uh, uh, the, the, the next exciting episode of My BS Friend de Resistance, Lisa! Oh, we're gonna f*** it up, y'all! Burn it all down! Burn it down! This episode of My Friend Lisa, Dependence Day, was written by Lori Firth, Lisa Graham, Dale Leopold, and Jack Mooney, and featured the vocal talents of the Suffolk and Good Players, Rebecca Davis, Dustin Ebaugh, Lori Firth, Lisa Graham, Dale Leopold, Chris Mazalesta, Karen O'Brien, and George Washington III. Original music composed, performed, and produced by Chris Mazalesta. The song, Welcome to Gilead, was written by Dale Leopold and Chris Mazalesta, and performed by Lori Firth, George Washington III, and Chris Mazalesta. Editing, sound design, and audio production by Dale Leopold. Artwork by Richard McMurray. If you enjoyed our show, biggest favor you can do us is to tell a friend or two about it. Second biggest favor you can do us is to become a patron of our show through our Patreon at patreon.com slash myfriendlisa. And of course, that's L-Y-S-S-A, the Welsh spelling. We'll be back with another exciting episode sooner or later. We're still on our summer schedule. And, you know, if you've ever dealt with voice actors, ugh, I mean, herding cats would be a picnic in comparison. So anyway, stay safe out there, vote blue no matter who, and thank you for listening.